what's up, man? Bus Invaders, let's go. Come on in. What's up, y'all? Trey Lewis here. Um, we're on our bandwagon. We're currently promoting our song Dig Down in Dallas, and we got a new EP coming out August 13th called Shut the Door. Um, this is our bandwagon. Um, a few weeks ago, we played in Omaha, Nebraska, <laughs> and Matt was telling this girl, it's like, oh, I'm about to go on the bus, and she said, you're not in a bus, you're in a shack. So, <laughs> uh, you know, fuck that girl. Because we used to ride around in an SUV for like seven years, and then we had a white, creepy van, and now we have this, so she can kiss our ass. This is our refrigerator. Um, we got, you know, pizza rolls, croissants. Um, we used to let our, our manager do the, the bus stock, but uh, he would get like, I don't know, fruit bars and Nutri-grain. Nutri-grain, oh, yeah. like that. Whole, whole Foods hipster shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, so we decided to uh, let him, let Matt start we doing got, it. We got, we got drunk people food in there. Drunk people food in here. Um, refrigerator's pretty cool. Uh, we have, we usually have fine Pilsner Miller Light in here because that is the beer of the Trey Lewis tour. I don't drink. I'm sober, but these guys drink enough alcohol for me. Um, Fireball is always a must. For sure, um, they got into it last night on the way here to Chicago. Um, iced coffee, always a must for me. I'm a big caffeine guy. There's some healthy stuff in here because the deal is, is that the tour always starts every time. It's everybody's like, I'm gonna be healthy. I'm gonna lose weight. But um, you know, by like, you know, two days in, we're eating. You know. Uh, I don't know where they are. Did y'all eat all the pop tarts last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they just looked like a. Um, I think we had like a 48 count of pop tarts. So those are all gone now. But we got cereal, bananas. These end up just getting thrown at you know thrown at people like this, you know, um, or in their bunks or whatever. You know. um, I think last time our uh, microwave exploded, right? What happened? Oh yeah, it blew up. Blew up. The yeah. roof was leaking in our other one that we had. This yeah. one's a brand new one. So maybe it is a shack, you know? <laughs> Who knows? Um, anyway, sunflower seeds, those are always a must. Um, we have, Brill bought these. He was high. Your mom's probably watching this. Your son gets high, <laughs> in case you didn't know. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know what they do with those things. We mainly just watch Walk Hard, the Dewey the Dewey Cox story on repeat. That's usually the only thing we watch. Last night we watched uh, NFL football because the season's back. Um, a lot of times Mitch, our base player, will get drunk and play the doors and tell us that he is, uh, what's the singer's name? Jim Morrison. He'll tell, tell us that he's Jim Morrison reincarnated and we're like, no you're not, but he thinks Lots he is. Lots of Fleetwood so. Mac too. Um, like, yeah, Fleetwood Mac. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes we hook our iPhones and shit up here and uh, play music. Um, yeah, I don't ever use this much because I bought this. This is badass. So I'm a big gamer. Not a real big gamer, but just kind of a gamer. But uh, this thing right here is pretty cool. It's a, uh, let's see here. I mean, I recently just got it, but it's a whole fucking, holds my Xbox, has a TV screen. Um, look at it. Paper, uh, pop tart wrapper. I mean, yeah, pop tart wrapper. Right here. So we really do eat pop tarts, you know. Madden, Modern Warfare, or you know, any Call of Duty, really. Warzone. Um, I have the the golf game, uh, PGA 2K, or whatever. So um, a couple of games. I have this one game. It's called a. Uh, it's called uh, Stranded Deep. It's like an island game, like where you're stranded on this island. But if I play that, it's just, it's bad. I might not get off the sticks for, you know, 12 hours straight, so. Um, lots of that. But this thing's really cool. This right here, we, earlier we went to the weed dispensary across the street. Again, I'm sober, don't do drugs, but, um, or marijuana, but, you know, if you can buy pot legally, why not do it, you know? <laughs> just to say you did it. We used to have to sit in sketchy parking lots to buy weed. <laughs> um, you know, just medicine. Hey. Who is that? That's Alex. Rule always is, gotta keep this locked, you know? Um, let's see what we got up here. Somebody's jacket. Uh, plus, plus cuts, plus. 
I'm still waiting on the towels. I don't know what you grill. I don't know what you did with those. That's like a computer bag. Yeah, I don't think you can. This is our day sheet. Um, this guy behind you, our tour manager, Matt Burrell, uh makes these things for us. Pretty cool. Has our logo on it. Um, has the uh, the times we're supposed to be places. But my favorite thing to do personally is not look at this at all and just pester him and ask him. Like does does a very good job of it. This a million times. Call him on the phone. If he doesn't answer, why didn't you answer my phone? What time are we supposed to be here? It's on the day sheet. I know that, but I just wanted to ask you. So that's uh, how we do that. Uh, but it has the the Wi-Fi to wherever you know we're playing, and then um, the venue contacts, food, and then. Uh, Burrell's favorite part of the list is shit to do. Um, <laughs> you're from here, so you can tell us if. So, uh, Chicago Music Exchange, it tells you how far it is. Chicago uh, Lands One Superstore. Um, of course, number three. We all we all went there. Um, and then. Oh, it's like a pawn shop. Pawners and jewelers. You know, these guys like to buy amps and guitars, and you know more shit that they're families don't want them to buy so <laughs> Ten um, moving on back moving on back these are the bunks um, well this is this is Trey Bonner this is this is our content guy What's up? Um, he's got a nice mustache um, you know he's, he's a good guy he's single ladies um, <laughs> he likes tall women taller than him so if you're into short guys at Trey Bonner music that's who you need um, yeah, but I mean, they're pretty cozy. I was on, on this bunk, and this is the smallest bunk, so I made my manager switch with me. And uh, this is my bunk. Haven't jacked off in here yet, but um, this is my bunk. Uh, probably will at some point. I have a girlfriend, so I don't cheat, so that's the way it is. You gotta be careful with this one. This is, uh, this is Big Dick Terry, also known as Terry Adams. He really has a big dick. You never know what he's doing in there. Um, this is uh, Mitch coming in on the dream catcher here. Awesome. Mitch, were you jacking it in here, I'm son? Jack it off! <laughs> <laughs> You're not jacking it? <laughs> Probably practicing his Spanish. <laughs> uh, uh, he looks pretty cool. I was going to show you him, but he's probably beating it. This is the shitter that you can't shit in. So the rule is, is that you can't shit in the bus because it stays in here and nobody wants to smell anybody's shit. But uh, you can pee in it. It's kind of hard to pee in when you're moving down the road. So, you know, I just sit down and pee. This is the bathroom. So the coolest thing I think about this is we, we've also had like a Prevost, like a really nice bus. Um, the, like, and the bunks felt smaller in the Prevost. Um, like they had like TVs and DVD players in the bunks. And like, I wasn't a huge fan of that because nobody watches DVDs anymore. They just, like watch stuff on their phone, porn, whatever, you know. But the bus that we were in, the Prevost, didn't have a shower. This has a shower, so it's amazing. Um, it's just pretty basic, though. I mean, like you got, you know, storage for towels, what have you. Um, you got the sink, you know. And then um, this is a nice mirror too. You know what I mean? So you can, I don't like to look at myself in the mirror because I'm like fat. I'm like, damn, son, got to lose weight. It's pretty nice in the rubber floor, so you don't. You know, bust your ass. So that's pretty much it, man. Um, thanks for uh, coming on our bus and doing this, but you gotta get the fuck out of here. Have a good one. Thanks. <laughs>